Hello, I'm Commissioner Rodney Brewer of the Kentucky State Police. The Kentucky State Police has been involved in school safety for many, many years, starting with the Adopt-A-School program that dates back some 15 years ago. But after the Newtown, Connecticut incident occurred in December of 2012, we began to re-examine our efforts and became even more committed to providing a safe school environment to our rural school systems throughout the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Our goal was to create a toolkit, if you will, for best practices and an early warning system for schools to safeguard children against an active shooter incident. We know that every school is different, which is why we have developed a plan that basically has four layers and four levels for you to choose from. This will be a consistent, sustaining program with troopers at all of our 16 posts trained on how to educate at each one of these different levels. The program will be reviewed often as best practices continue to change. So plan to enhance your program and the usability of it through a link on our KSP website. I invite you to take a few moments to watch this video to get just a thumbnail glimpse at some of the services that the Kentucky State Police is offering. The Kentucky State Police, using their statewide resources and expertise, have partnered with educators, administrators, and local law enforcement to develop a comprehensive school safety program. The Kentucky State Police is pleased to announce that in the new training that we're going to set forth for the schools across the Commonwealth of Kentucky, that we're going to offer four levels of assistance if requested from the school districts. These four levels of training allow the administrator to choose what area would be the most beneficial to enhance their overall emergency action plan and to enhance the effectiveness of their active shooter response. These four levels are not intended to establish policy and procedures for the school, but they are intended to aid the school in implementing a better and more effective active shooter response plan. Kentucky is now on the leading edge of school security and safety nationwide. Being around educators all of my life, uh, there was there's always this, uh, what are we going to do, and you know another PD. Uh, but once the professional development began, uh, the whole staff, it was amazing to see the quietness that overcame the class. Uh, but once we started the training, um, you could have heard a pin drop from our faculty, our staff, uh, and then once the actual training where uh, we got hands on, uh, it became very real. Uh, as a former coach, you were always fearing that situation you hadn't gone over in practice. I've now gone over this situation. I feel like I will know more what to do. My kids know more what to do. And it, I was way off what I would have told them to do prior to the training. My whole scenario that I had planned out if this ever happened was changed tremendously by the information that you all were able to give us. Just as important uh, as it is to practice in a fire drill, uh, it is even more important, in our opinion, to practice uh, and prepare for an active shooter event in this. Because in a fire drill or a fire situation, we may lose a building. In this situation, uh, an active shooter event, the reality is it is a necessary training that all school staff members, uh, especially those in Kentucky, need. The levels of assistance range from simple site visits and readiness reviews, enhanced lockdown practices, decreasing the vulnerability of the school with a practice called target hardening. The fourth level intensifies to actual training for school personnel in the event of an active shooter. We will come, come to the school and we will provide at least a, around an hour of classroom instruction followed by two hours of scenario-based training where we actually put the school staff uh, member into different situations that are uh, common based upon their position in the school and what they could expect uh, from that should they uh, find themselves in an active shooter event. Preparation is the key. People respond in the way they have been trained. This realistic training is an effective eye-opener with simulated gunfire and other hazardous devices. Uh, one of the unique aspects about our training program is that we actually allow the school staff participants to hear 
gunfire in their respective schools. And we think that's an important dynamic of the training. It's not just for a shock and awe event, but it's from the training standpoint that they can recognize what they're actually hearing. And is it a gunshot or is it some vehicle that has just backfired in the parking lot? And so we think that's an important part so that they can recognize that and then better be able to react more quickly and efficiently and hopefully being in a better position to survive that event by knowing and being able to recognize uh, that sound. I will have to say it was a very eerie feeling to hear gunshots going off in our school. Uh, it was nothing that I'd ever been trained of, uh, never seen, I'd never heard. Uh, I think it was a, a really good eye opener for the majority of the teachers because they were able to bring in scenarios and situations that we've never thought about before and then where we thought, well, we're locking the door, we're doing everything we can, we weren't. And we weren't mentally prepared for the action that we would need to take if that happened. So it opened our minds to a whole new situation that we'd never been prepared for. Okay. The Kentucky uh, State Police Active Shooter Program that we went through has prepared us uh, it, unmeasurably better, you know, for the first sound we hear, what we do. Where before, everybody had like this scared tension around them whenever you talked about active shooter. And now in their minds, it's, oh, I did this during the training. I was prepared for this. Remember when so-and-so did this? That was a good idea. And they just, the confidence is much higher now than it was. The value of this program is without measure, especially for our children. The efforts of KSP have been widely recognized as a model program. Hi, I'm John Akers. I'm the State Director for the Kentucky Center for School Safety. And as you've seen, the Kentucky State Police have developed a really solid program dealing with active shooter safety in our schools. Uh, we come at this at a time in our country where we still have school shootings that take place. And it's very important for educators, uh, teachers, principals, those people who deal with kids on a day in that day out basis to have some kind of program there to enhance their school safety programs that they already have and this is one such program that I think uh, merits the uh, the thought and consideration of our school administrators to bring this in as a part of a professional development program that will make our safe schools even safer. The Kentucky State Police Safe Schools Program. There is a path to safer schools.